Hey folks, Brendan here from Blue Light with another video that's going to help support you through the police recruitment process. So if you are applying to forces throughout England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, it's increasingly likely that you're going to have an interview that's going to get a little bit more complicated than just, can you tell me about a time when? Those questions are starting to be phased out a little bit by many forces. So we're looking more for what you're really made of. What are your values? Uh, and one of the best ways of testing out your values and your qualities and your ability to think on your feet is by giving you a situational question. So I'm going to give you an explanation as to what some of those are at this moment in time. But in case you're thinking which forces are using these, uh, three forces spring to mind straight away, Durham, uh, Cheshire Constabulary, Norfolk. Uh, and there's many others out there as well uh, asking you questions about um, how you would go about dealing with a specific policing scenario. I know you're not expected to know anything about operational policing uh, policy or tactics. And this is where I think it's a little bit unfair uh, because if you do not have any close social ties with the police, you might struggle with some of these questions. Fortunately, I'm here to help you. I provide that close social tie, the person who's going to help you through the process at every stage from application form all the way up to your final interview and beyond for promotion boards, specialist interviews. I've been doing this now for over a quarter of a century. Hundreds and hundreds of serving police officers have been supported during that time and over 12,000 people have joined the police as a result of my support over the past decade. So it's just an enormous amount of people. What a privilege. And if you want to find out more about those services, check the links below. Um, let's start off with some of the questions that you might get asked. Oh, by the way, if you're one of my awesome, awesome interview course clients, then jump over to the interview course Facebook group where you'll find videos on each one of these, how to approach each one of these scenarios in detail. It's like a ready-made answer for you. Uh, so if you get any questions like these, you've got an answer lined up, one that's gonna be awesome. The sort of thing that's in uh, inspector level, how do I know that? Because I used to be one. I used to be an inspector. I used to work for the College of Policing. Um, I've worked for them and with them for on four occasions during my career. Of course, sometimes they're under previous incarnations like National Police Training or Centrex. Um, but ultimately, they've not really changed that much. And a lot of the questions that are asked at boards and such like, pretty similar to these, pretty similar to these. Anyway, so to business. Um, domestic violence. This is where you may be given a scenario that involves you going to a domestic violence report where you've got a very reluctant witness. And then what happens? Um, the assailant or the alleged assailant turns up. Uh, he's quite aggressive. And you've got um, a victim who refuses to tell you anything about what has happened. How are you going to deal with that one? It's a tough one, isn't it? Uh, next, what a conundrum this one is. Um, someone who's homeless or a group of homeless people who are providing all sorts of problems in a town centre to with antisocial behaviour and crime. How are you going to deal with that? You're going to use enforcement? Well, you could because there's plenty of tools and powers there for you to deal with people who are causing antisocial behaviour, crime, um, who are harassing members of the public. Plenty of tools and powers. But is that the right way forward? Is that really what they're looking for? I suspect not. There's an interesting one. Um, you notice on the WhatsApp group that's got all of your fellow officers on it that some of the uh, WhatsApp members are making comments about your sergeant. Now, it's not going to say what the comments are. So depending on the comments will depend on the route that you take. So what, that's a challenging one for um, the modern day police service. And quite topical as well, especially when you look at the Hotham report into what went on at Charing Cross Police Station in London. Next, a death message. A mother, um, you're going to go and speak to a mother whose uh, son has been killed in a road traffic collision. How would you deliver that death message? I mean, how are you expected to know that? I mean, seriously, how are you expected to know that? Got an awesome, awesome method for you which will tick boxes all over the competency and values framework. Um, this one gets asked a lot at PCSO uh, interviews. So young people and antisocial behaviour. 
uh, might give you a scenario of some a group of young people hanging around persistently outside a um, a not youth hostel outside a um, uh, off license, um, causing antisocial behaviour, harassing members of the public, uh, drinking alcohol. They're underage. How are you going to deal with that? Again, enforcement. I suspect that's not what they're looking for. Um, community engagement. Be quite a broad one. This. Um, give you a clue it's a question that's asked, been asked by Cheshire Constabulary um, how would you go about effectively engaging with the community that you are based in as a neighborhood police officer you're hoping to join the police but they put you in that scenario I suspect you'll end up in a neighborhood policing team anyway uh, and lastly how would you manage change in the community what they're looking at there is uh, new arrivals maybe uh, refugees um, asylum seekers or other groups of people who are maybe in the minority who are choosing to come and live in your community. So some really, really challenging situationals there for you. Uh, there's various methods that we can utilize to deal with those. Um, I'm going to share those with you in the interview course Facebook group. So I know there's quite a few of you waiting on tender hooks for these. Uh, stand by. Stand by, I'm going to start delivering them for you today in the interview course Facebook group. You can find out how to join that group in the links below. It'd be awesome to see you in there. And you, you, as well as getting the online course, you get the opportunity to access once a week practice webinars where we uh, interact with you, you get to practice, we debrief your answers, get you super ready for your interview. So, hope to see you on one of those folks. Um, oh, and as well as that, as a bonus, you get a whole year's worth of recordings of those interactive webinars. Forget Netflix, forget Amazon Prime, you're going to be binging out on this stuff. I'll catch you with you soon. Bye-bye for now.